Denver's impound lot is packed with unclaimed cars, but instead of selling them off, a new proposal would give some of those vehicles a second run. And help technical schools at the same time. Your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, explains from the Denver County impound lot. Each year, thousands of vehicles land here at Denver's impound. Most of them are auctioned or scrapped. But instead of selling them off, a new proposal would instead give some of these vehicles a second life in classrooms. A new proposal would let some of these vehicles go straight into the hands of auto repair students at schools like Emily Griffith Technical College, vehicles valued at or below $1,500. That is pretty vital for our program because we get cars that come in, um, they have not been disassembled uh, 20 times and all the clips are broken, so this will actually be able to come in, we'll have a fresh car. It's an opportunity that would help schools in Denver increase technical skill building opportunities for students. At Emily Griffith, the school has just about eight or nine usable cars, but with about 150 students a year, they need more. Again, it's always continuous. You might have a vehicle now uh, that you need to get rid of uh, tomorrow. Unfortunately as well, we've had some unfortunate luck uh, that we've had some vehicles stolen as well off the property, and so then you know you can no longer teach on them, so you need new vehicles to teach on. Last year, Denver sold nearly 4,000 impounded cars, but high fees cut deeply into that revenue. This proposal would not only reduce time and storage costs for the city, but also be aligned with the city's equity, sustainability, and workforce readiness goals. Instructors say it would impact how students learn. If you get a car that goes to the program, or stays in a program two or three times through classes, that car is, the clips are broke, some of the bolts are stripped out, then it's a lot more that you don't have a complete car that's fresh. So having this go through our program is really, really big. If approved, schools like Emily Griffith could receive five to 10 donated cars annually. And to have this opportunity where vehicles will be donated, it puts you it puts you in a much better spot. City Council will hold the first reading of the proposed ordinance next Monday in Denver. Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. And Jasmine wants to hear about stories impacting Denver neighborhoods. Send your tip through cbscolorado.com. Call 303-863-TIPS or email her at yourreporter at cbs.com.